your world. We'll take a few moments just to kind of settle in. If you are joining us today, me and my lovely assistants, <laughs> and our lovely assistants, hopefully he hangs out with us. We'll see how he feels today. If you're joining in for the yoga, thank you. If you're coming in to hear Brock's nice tunes, thank you. Maybe you want to just kind of watch and see what it's all about, listen to the music, wherever you are in your day. I appreciate you joining and tuning in. If you're coming in to moving along with me, you might want to bring along two blocks. If you don't have blocks, that's okay. Maybe you have a big, thick book or a couple books that you can stack on top of each other. But it's really not necessary. It just might be helpful, but I'll give you all the different modifications for everything. So, coming to a comfortable seat wherever you are, bringing the hands down to your lap. Start to settle into this space. Closing your eyes. Noticing how it feels for the earth to support you completely. Noticing all the little different sensations going on inside your body, inside your minds, your spirits, all the things that come up when we just take a moment to ourselves. Noticing the natural rise and fall of your chest as you breathe. So not trying to change it too much just yet, but trying to bring awareness. Is it a little bit fast pace? Is it slower pace? Maybe you're a little anxious today. Maybe you've had a rough morning. And hopefully this calms you down a bit. Or whenever you decide to check this video out. Whenever you are in your breath, we're going to exhale out completely, letting it go. Taking a nice deep inhale through the nose, nice and slow. Feel as your belly rises. And then your chest, taking that breath to every inch of your body, pausing at the top, and then open the lips, sigh now, letting go of any tension, stress, any anxiety, let it out here, a couple more breaths like this, next inhale, fill up, creating this beautiful space throughout the whole body. Pausing when you get to the top. And then open up. And let it go. Taking another inhale, filling up. Taking that inhale to every inch of your body, the tips of your toes and your fingertips. And then open up and let it go. next time you inhale, we're going to reach those hands up overhead, bringing the palms together. As you exhale, let's take that prayer down to the heart. Pausing here for a moment, reflecting on what brought you to this space. Maybe it's my Facebook post, maybe you wanted to try something a little different, or maybe you wanted to continue on a practice that you already have. Whatever it is, being grateful for this moment, this time that you took for yourself. Taking this moment of gratitude and then seal this in with the breath as you inhale. Feel as the chest rise up, rises up to the thumbs. And as you exhale, let it settle. Beautiful, guys. Next time you inhale, we're going to reach those hands up overhead, taking a little side stretch. So as you exhale, that right hand is going to come down. We're going to reach that left hand over the ear. Maybe you stay on your right fingertips, maybe the palm. Maybe you 
come down towards your forearm. Wherever you are, try to keep the left sit bone rooted to the earth. Relax in both shoulders. Your gaze can come up towards the sky. Awesome. As we inhale, we're going to lift up, keeping those right fingertips on the earth. As you exhale, just let that left shoulder fall down towards that left ear, come down towards your left shoulder. Taking that left hand to your temple and just letting it softly open up the side of your neck here. Maybe you walk those right fingertips out slightly, feeling that yummy stretch. Awesome. As you inhale, we're going to reach both hands up. And as you exhale, just take that nice stretch on the opposite side so your left hand comes down, right hand reaches over the ear. Find your edge, that right sit bone stays connected. So maybe you're on, a, on your fingertips, on the palm, maybe you come down towards that forearm. Wherever it feels really yummy, just hang out there. The gaze can come up towards the sky, relax those shoulders. Inhale, lifts you up, keeping those left fingertips on the mat. Right ear drops down to the shoulder. Let that right hand softly come onto the temple. So not pressing down. Just let the weight of the hand open up that neck. Maybe you walk those left fingertips out just a little bit more if that feels good. Awesome. As we inhale, we're just going to lift both hands back up. And as you exhale, we're going to take a forward fold, walking those hands out in front of you, allowing that chin to kind of fall down, finding your edge, your back and around here. Maybe you take a few side stretches, we can walk those hands off to the right. Exhale here. As you inhale, just walk those hands through center. And then as you exhale, take those hands off to the left. Awesome. Your inhale takes you back through center. Exhale to settle down into this fold for a moment. And then as you inhale, just going to walk those hands back up nice and slow. Bringing your feet together. Soles of the feet come together. Coming to our body Kanasana. Letting those legs open out wide. The closer the heels are to you, the deeper the stretch. So you might want to press those heels out slightly. You can stay seated upright. Maybe your knees are up here, maybe they're a little lower. Wherever they are is perfect. Grabbing the inner blades of the feet. If you want to fold forward, as you inhale, we're going to lift that chest. And then as you exhale, imagine opening those feet like they're pages in a book and just start to fold down nice and slow from your hips. Let your elbows kind of help to open those hips a bit more. Wherever your edge is, hang out there for a breath or two. Awesome. Coming back up as you inhale, we're gonna lift up nice and slow. We're going to find our boat pose, starting to fire up the core nice and slowly to here to start. So coming, bringing those knees together, finding what boat works for you. We have a few different options. You can take the hands behind the back, draw those shoulder blades together, soles of the feet to the earth, lift your chest to your thighs, pull that belly in. I can already start to feel this kind of burning yummy sensation in the core where you want to stay is perfect. Maybe you lift those legs up parallel, adding a little extra here. Keep lifting that chest towards your thighs. Maybe one hand reaches out, maybe both. Relaxing those shoulders. We're going to pause here for a few breaths. He's helping me. He's a really good assistant. Relaxing those shoulders here. Take a breath in. Maybe we stay still. No problem. If you want to move as we inhale, we're going to come halfway down. Exhale, use that breath to lift you up, pull the belly in. Inhale, halfway down. Exhale, pull up. Awesome. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, lift. Three more like this. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, lift up. You can always do this with those hands behind your back. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, lift up. Beautiful. Last 
last one, inhale, halfway. Exhale, lift up. We're gonna hold it down for about five, my count of five. So halfway down, maybe those hands are behind you. Maybe you reach them towards the front of your mat. For five, four, smile. One, slowly letting this go, coming all the way down to the mat, drawing those knees into the chest. You can rock yourself back and forth, massaging your lower back on the mat. Beautiful. We're going to come through center, stillness. We're going to let that right knee come into the chest, straighten the left leg up to the sky. And as you exhale, just let that left leg slowly descend to the mat. Maybe that heel comes down, that left leg can stay straight. Or maybe you need a little more space today. Just bend into the left knee, letting that slow blue foot come to the earth. Awesome. Pulling that right knee over to your right armpit. You can start to circle that right ankle one way, and then we'll circle it the other way. And just straightening the right leg up to the sky, finding a pass behind your thigh. If that's accessible, maybe you're Half. Maybe you reach up to your big toe. Breathe into this. Beautiful. Opening that hip here. We're going to let that left hand come on top of your left hip. Breathe in. And as you exhale, we're just going to open that right leg over to the right, finding your edge. Try to keep the left hip grounded so we're not lifting it up. back through center, bending into that right knee, let that right hand come down to the mat, we're just going to take a twist, taking that right knee over to the left, gazing over your right shoulder, awesome, inhale, bring your back up through center, bending into your left knee, we're going to place your right ankle on top of your Finding our pigeon pose, we find pigeon pose. Pressing that right knee away from you, opening up that hip. Maybe that left knee comes into the chest. Finding a class behind that left thigh or in front of the shin. Wherever you are, just relax. Beautiful. Releasing that foot if you have it, letting that left leg come down. Both legs are going to straighten up to the sky. Breathe in. And then as you exhale, that left knee is going to come in. We're going to drop that right leg down towards the earth. Just taking this to the opposite side, opening up the body. That right leg can stay straight or you can bend the knee. Drawing that left knee to your left armpit, opening up that hip slightly. You can circle that ankle one way.
relaxing into the pose, breathing into your hips. And then slowly releasing that right foot back down to the mat. Both legs are going to lift up to the sky as you inhale. Bringing the hands by our sides, palms can face down or up. Exhale, we're just going to let those legs hover over the mat. So just about two to three inches, maybe a foot. Actually, it doesn't matter how far or how close they are to the mat. We're trying to pull that belly into the spine, letting that lower back stay connected. Holding this here for a breath or two. And then on your next exhale, we're going to lift up to our boat pose. So maybe you drop the feet for this, or maybe as you exhale, you use that core to lift you up. Beautiful. Holding this smile here just for a breath. If you're shaking, that's okay. And we're just going to cross at the ankles. We're going to make our way to our tabletop. So bringing those knees down to the mat. However you'd like to get here, shoulders stack over the wrists, and those knees are going to stack over the under the hips. As you inhale, we're going to drop the belly, lift the gaze, finding our cows and cats. As you exhale, round through the spine, draw that chin to the chest. A few more like this. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round into the spine, chin to the chest. Taking a couple more. Maybe you stick with these traditional cat cows. Maybe you want to move a little more organically. Wherever you are here, if you need a little more on the side body, you can start to stretch that out. Maybe you roll those hips, roll your head around in a circle, whatever feels good on your neck. Moving with the breath here is all I ask. This makes all those little cranks and cranks in the body opening up. One more breath wherever you are. We're going to make our way to back to that tabletop. Finding that stillness when you're ready. Taking your time. You can always meet us here in a little bit. So finding that table. Suck that belly in up towards the spine. Nice strong core. We're going to find a balance here. Starting with that right leg. We're going to straighten the right leg. Toes can stay on the mat. We're just going to press that heel away. Opening up that leg and then slowly lifting that right leg up parallel to your mat. Maybe you come onto your left fingertips. Maybe you reach that left hand out. Beautiful. Breathing into this. We're going to move here if you like. Option just to stay kind of simmer in this balance. Or option to move with me as you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw the elbow to the knee. This time as you inhale, we're actually going to take the left hand out to the left, right leg out to the right. Those, those limbs can be bent or straight, your choice. And then exhale, draw it back through center. Inhale, lengthen. Awesome. Exhale, up to the knee. Inhale, out to the right, out to the left. Open up like we're an airplane. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, open. Exhale to the center. Beautiful. Two more times. Using that breath. Last one. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen. Find meaning this balance once again. You can stay right here. You can start to bend into that back knee. Reaching around with the left hand, maybe you find the foot. If you have that foot, start to kick the foot into the hand. Lift that heart. Beautiful. We're going to inhale here. Find that balance. Keep the right leg straight. We're just going to let that left hand come down to your mat. We're going to step that right foot over the left. Finding a little side stretch as you exhale. Gaze over that left shoulder. Beautiful. Inhale brings you back through center. That right knee is going to find the mat, finding that table once again. Finding one cat and how to kind of flush this out as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round into the spine, chin to the chest. 
coming back through that neutral table. We're going to take that little sweep into the opposite side. So starting with that left foot, straightening that left foot up behind you. Keeping those toes planted to the earth. Just press that heel away from you, opening up that calf. And then coming back through center, lifting that leg up. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you come onto your fingers on the right side. Or those right hands reach out, finding that balance. Smile. You guys got it. Wherever you are, just simmer for a moment. And then the option to stay here. Option as you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, we're going to draw the elbow to the knee, curl it in. Inhale out to the side, open up to these airplanes. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, open. Exhale to the center. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, up to the knee. Inhale, up, open. Airplane. Exhale, pull it in. Two more like this. Moving along with the breath. Or maybe you're just staying in that balance, holding that. That's perfectly fine. If you're moving, this is the last one. Beautiful, guys. Coming back to that balance, we're all going to meet here. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe you bend it to that back knee, finding that foot with the right hand, or just reaching for it today, wherever you are. It's perfectly fine. If you have that foot, we'll start to kick it into the hand. Lift that chest. Beautiful. Slowly releasing this as you inhale. Keeping that left leg straight, we're just going to drop that right hand down. Step that left foot over the right, and then just start to gaze over your right shoulder as you exhale, opening up the left side of your body. Awesome. Inhale, draws you back through center. Let that left knee find the mat. Taking one cat and cow here as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round into your spine, chin to the chest. Tucking those toes if they're not already tucked. We're going to keep this rounded spine as we lift up to our down dog. So as you exhale, lift those knees off your mat slowly, hips lift up to the sky, finding that down dog. There's a dog between my down dog, maybe there's a dog between yours. <laughs> Take a breath here, open the lips, exhale it out, release. If you want to walk your dog out, you can bend into one knee and then the other, letting this feel really nice and yummy. Beautiful, guys. If you're walking your dog, you're going to move back through stillness, straightening those legs towards straight. It's okay if there's a little bend into the knees. As you inhale, we're all going to bend the knees slightly. And as you exhale, we're just going to take a little walk all the way up towards the top of your mat. Inhale, when you get here, flat back. Exhale, fold, let it go. You can bend your knees here in any forward fold that you take. We can grab a hold of opposite elbows if that feels good. Your feet can step about hip distance apart. Relaxing here wherever you are. Let your head and neck completely hang heavy. Stillness, releasing those hands. A little bend in the knees as you inhale. We're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow, like you're giving your spine a nice massage. Reaching those hands overhead as you get to the top. And as you exhale, take that prayer down to your heart. Settling in here, noticing any sensations that you may be feeling. Let your feet ground down into the earth. Let your crown of the head shoot up towards the sky, noticing these opposite forces in your own body and the world around us. On your next inhale, we're going to lift those hands up overhead, reach. As you exhale, start to hinge from the hips, bending the knees if you need to, folding forward, let this go. Inhale, draws you up, flat back. Halfway, maybe the hands to the shins. And then as we exhale, we're going to step back to our plank pose. Breathing here, 
here, you can modify any plank by bringing your knees down. Wherever you are, draw that belly up towards the spine. Beautiful, guys. We're going to hold our chaturanga for a little more, uh, longer than normal. So if you need to modify, by all means, let those knees come down. I'm going to modify for the first one. So breathe in here. And as you exhale, we're just going to bend the elbows halfway. So the shoulders align with the elbows. Pausing here for five, four, you got it, two, awesome, one, come all the way down to the belly, untucking the toes from the tops of the feet, find the mat, taking our cobra poses, press the tops of the feet down, as you inhale, come up to your edge, the fat chest, the fat heart, exhale and release, let it go. Maybe you stay here with the palms right near the ribs. Maybe we take those fingers off your mat. Elbows face up towards the sky. As you inhale, lift up. You can gaze over your right shoulder. And then as you exhale, gaze forward and release. Wherever you'd like the hands here, your choice. Last one, as you inhale, lift up. Maybe you gaze over the left shoulder. And then gazing forward. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Taking those hands by your ribs if they weren't already there. We're going to tuck the toes. Either lift up with those knees grounded, modified plank, or lift those knees up to your plank. And then as you exhale, lift the hips up to the sky. Find your down dog. Beautiful. Take a breath in. Open your lips. Side it out. Bending into those knees once again. We're going to walk towards the top of your mats. Maybe you take a step or a hop. As you inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, reaches you up, hands over the head. Exhale, bring those hands to the heart. Beautiful. Inhale, lift those hands up, reach. Exhale, hinge from the hips, let it go, fold forward, bending those knees if you'd like, if you need to. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step back to your plank pose. Maybe modify it, maybe with those legs, knees lifted. Wherever you are, pull that belly up to the spine and smile. We're going to hold that trot around and this one last time. So modify if you need to. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, halfway. Hold this. Beautiful, guys. Smile here. Next time you breathe in, lift up dog or cobra. Exhale, back to your down dog. Take a breath in. Open the lips. Side up. Awesome, guys. We're just going to take one more vinyasa like that a little faster. So making your way to the top of your mat. As you inhale, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift you all the way up, hands over the head. This time we're going to flow right into it as you exhale, hinge forward, let this go. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back to your plank pose. Beautiful, guys. We're just going to take our vinyasa here. I won't hold, we won't hold that chaturanga. So take a breath in. Exhale, halfway, maybe all the way down, your choice. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Taking a nice yummy breath in. Open the lips. Let it go. Beautiful, guys. That right leg's going to lift when you're ready. Next time you breathe in, lift up. And as you exhale, we're going to open that right hip. Stack the right hip on top of the left.
right foot, right hand's gonna reach up to the sky. Beautiful guys, we can stay right here. Or you can bend into that back knee. You can reach that right hand for your back foot. If you have that foot, it's okay if you don't. We're just reaching, we're just trying to bend wherever you are is perfect. But if you have that foot, you can start to pull that heel in towards your glutes. Beautiful, guys. Slowly releasing that foot if you had it. Taking that right hand to the inside of your right foot. So both hands are on the inside. We're coming to our lizard pose. If you have a block here or a book or something to use to bring that mat up to you, that could be helpful. Maybe you drop your forearms onto that block or book. Maybe you have a little more space and you want to take those forearms to your mat. But if you're here with those palms up, staying right here is perfectly fine. So find what works for you. If you want to add a little more fire in the back leg, start to tuck those back toes and just lift that back knee up. Wherever you are is beautiful. Just breathe into it. Close your eyes and notice what's happening. If your forearms were down, we're all going to lift back up onto the palms. We're all going to tuck the back toes, lift that back knee up. We're going to step forward to our Malasana or our Yogi Squats. So take a breath in to prepare. And as you exhale, left foot's going to step to the outside of your left hand. Beautiful, guys. You can stay here however low you come down. So maybe your Yogi Squat is up here. If you have a block, you can place the block underneath your bum and then you just take a seat on that block, no problem. If you're all the way down here with me, no problem. Wherever you are, just hang out there for a moment. Try to bring that prayer together. Lift that chest up towards your thumbs. Taking a few breaths, just opening the hips. Stay still, that's fine. If you want to take a little bind, you can reach that right hand in front of your right shin. Inhale, left hand reaches up to the sky, relaxing your shoulders. Maybe you take that bind, bringing both hands behind your right hip. You can clasp the fingers if you have it. Wherever you are is perfect. I sound like a broken record, but it's true. Gazing over that left shoulder, just opening up. Inhale brings you back through center. If you're moving along as you exhale, that left hand's gonna come in front of the left shin. Right hand reaches up to the sky. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you take those hands behind you. Find that clasp. Beautiful. Next time we inhale, we're all gonna meet in the center. Taking those hands down to the earth. We're going to find that lizard pose once again. So palms come down. We're going to step the left foot back to the back of your mat. This time that right hand is going to lift up. So as we inhale, we're just going to lift that right hand maybe to the top of your right thigh. Opening up that chest. Maybe it reaches up to the sky. Beautiful. Rolling on to the outer edge of your back foot and then we're going to turn those right toes to face the right right edge of your mat. Inhale to reach those hips up like someone's pulling your hips over the string and as you exhale we're going to hover over the mat. Inhale lifts you up. We're going to start to face the front of the mat taking both hands to either side of that front foot. Step that front foot back to your down dog. Take a breath in. Open the lips, side out. Beautiful, guys. Taking a breath in here, we're gonna move through vinyasa, roll forward to your plank pose, modify if you need to. Exhale, halfway, or all the way down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Take a breath in. When you're ready, that left leg lifts, three-legged dog. And as you exhale, we're going to bend into that left knee, stacking that hip over the right. Awesome, 
left knee tucks in towards the nose. Flexing that left foot, we're going to step in between the hands. Back knee is going to come down. As you inhale, we're going to lift up to that low lunge. Exhale to settle. Releasing that right hip towards the earth. Just kind of hanging out here for a moment. breath in to lengthen. As you exhale, that right hand comes down to the inside of your left foot. Yes. Inhale, left hand reaches up to the sky, finding your twist. You can stay right here, no problem. Maybe we bend into that back knee. Maybe we reach that left hand for your back foot. Maybe you can find the foot today. If you have the foot, not necessary, we'll start to pull that heel in towards the glute. Have the foot, we're going to release it nice and slow, releasing that leg down to the mat. Inhale, left hand reaches up to the sky. Exhale, bring that left hand to the inside of your left foot, finding your lizard lunge. So maybe you keep the palms up on the mat, maybe you use a block here, letting the forearms come down to your block or your book, whatever you have available. If you have that extra space, Take those forearms down to your mat, your choice. And if you want to add a little fire in the back leg, tuck those back toes, just lift that back knee up off your mat. Wherever you are, breathing into that area that feels tight. Creating space with the breath. Let the tongue fall to the bottom of your mouth. Noticing if you're clenching, clenching your jaw. Let that go as well as you can. Beautiful. If those forearms were down, we're going to bring the palms back up to your mat. We're going to find that yogi squat. So letting that back knee come up if it wasn't already. We're going to breathe in to prepare. And as you exhale, just step the right foot to the outside of your right hand. Finding your squat, whatever that is. And if you sit on the clock, maybe you're up a little higher. Or maybe you're all the way down here. Wherever you are, just bring the palms to the heart. Open that chest up towards the back. Beautiful breaths. Beautiful, guys. Either staying here or just taking those twists. Once again, that right hand's going to come to the outside of your right foot or right shin. Inhale, lift that left hand up towards the sky. Maybe take that bind.
you're gonna take just a little bit of a rest here, about five breaths. So maybe you wanna stay in your dog for this. Maybe you wanna come down to a child's, dropping those knees softly on the mat, letting the hips fall back to the heels. Your knees can be out open a little wide, let your torso fall in between the thighs, or we can bring those knees together for a little more restorative version, letting those back torso come on top of your thighs. So whatever feels good, just relax into the pose. Maybe you're still in your dog. Maybe you wanna take a few more vinyasas if you wanna fire up a little bit more. Taking about three more breaths here, wherever you are. Beautiful, guys. Taking your time, we're going to reach up to our table if you're in your child's pose. Tucking the toes, we're all going to meet back in our down dog in your own time, taking your time to get here. As you exhale, lift those hips back up to the sky, down dog. That right leg's going to lift as you inhale. Exhale, we're going to draw that right knee to your right tricep, shoulder stack over the wrist. Inhale, kick it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right try. Inhale, kick it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right try. You can hold it here. Or as you inhale, you're going to pull that right knee down to your right wrist. Exhale, pull it back up to your right tricep. Awesome. Inhale, kick it back, three-legged dog. We're just going to open the hip, bending into that right knee, stacking that right hip on top of the left. Maybe you stay here. If you want to come to a wild thing, you can drop that right foot behind you. Roll to the outer edge of your left foot. Right hand's going to reach up to the sky. Reach those hips up. Awesome. Exhale to bring yourself back around nice and slow. Inhale back to your three-legged down. We're all going to be here. And as you exhale, just take that right knee to your nose. Step it between the hands. We're going to open up to our warrior two. As you inhale, lift up, bending into your right knee, knee stacks over the ankle, give or take, and those left toes are pointing to the left edge of your mat. Reaching those hands out by your sides, relax the shoulders, settle into this. Use that breath. As you inhale, we're going to reach the right hand forward, flip the palm. Exhale, reverse, left hand down your left leg, right hand reaches over the ear. Beautiful. Inhale, brings you back through center. Exhale to a side angle. We're going to let that right elbow come down on top of your right thigh. Left hand reaches up to the sky. Or that left hand reaches over the left ear, your choice. On your next inhale, we're going to lift back up to that warrior two. We're going to move with the breath here, kind of like a dance. So taking those poses, as you inhale, reach forward, exhale, reverse. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale to your side angle. Inhale, lifts you up, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, back to your warrior two. Exhale, side angle. One more like this. Inhale, lifts you up. Warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, back. Warrior two. Exhale, side angle. We're going to pause here. Hanging out in this side angle. You can stay with that elbow on the thigh. Or we can maybe take a block. Bring the right hand to the inner side of your right foot. Left hand up to the sky. Maybe we don't have a block. You just reach down towards the mat wherever you are. Breathe in. If you have a bind in your practice and you want to take it, you can reach the left hand behind you to your right hip crease. Maybe that right hand comes underneath the thigh and you find your fingertips. Not necessary. Maybe we're working towards that. Beautiful, guys. One more breath here. When you're ready, your inhale lifts you up, warrior two. We're going to straighten that right leg, bend into your left knee, flexing your right toes, bring the hands to the heart. Maybe those hands reach out forward, framing the face. Awesome. Taking the hands back to the heart, we're going to find that warrior two once again. And then as you 
or something soft underneath your leg to help support it. But wherever you are, just try to keep that right foot flexed. And imagine that the crown of the head is working its way towards your toes, rather than trying to draw the nose down to the knee, keeping your spine nice and long. face the back corner of your mat. We're going to lift up, so imagine someone's pulling your hips up with a string. Come onto that left shin, pointing those right toes down to the earth. Reach that right hand out behind you. And then as you exhale, slowly let this go. Switching sides, so bend into that right knee, left leg straight. Finding your foundation, flexing that left foot, nice strong leg. Again, bending the knee if you need to, no problem. Inhale to lift those hands up, nice length of your spine. As you exhale, fold forward. Finding your edge, letting yourself just hang out wherever you are. Bring those knees into the chest. Give yourself a really nice hug. You can rock. 
rock yourself back and forth. Maybe you take little circles with the knees one way, and then take little circles the other way. Sad it out, let all of this go. You guys are amazing, wonderful human beings for even checking us out, maybe moving along. If you're here, we're going to come to our happy baby.
Thanks for offering. Beautiful. I hope you guys have a beautiful day.